Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, you, you, I tell you what, when you're playing cricket, it just time just, just seems to fly. And I didn't think it was nine years, if I'm being honest. Um, but yeah, as I said, amazing memories. Some some memories that, that you know, obviously nobody can take away from me. And, and as I said, you know, memories that really um, I, I look back on with great fondness. And that a lot of the hard work that I, um, I put in was... was for that test but then also in 2014 I played against the West Indies after having almost two years out injured and I played again then as well that was obviously at Edgebaston as well so I've got pretty pretty amazing memories of, of playing at such a great place. I mean, first of, first of all, I mean, it, it seems like a long time ago and some amazing memories. Um, yeah, a lot. Of, uh, I've got a lot more grey hair now than what I did have, you know, back in the day. But yeah, I mean, some of the best times in my my career, without a doubt. And um, I mean, that Edge Baston test was was a one that was uh, pretty special to me, and, and uh, especially during the Ashes one, because obviously playing against Australia, the best players in the world. Um, just felt as though there was there was areas in that game where I just felt as though I was starting to cement my place in the side a little bit as well, which was great. Um, and you know, we managed to, apart from the rim, we managed to get on, give it a good crack. Perfect off breaks from Graham Swan. Great catch, a flying that prior. Oh, that's a gem. That is one for the memory book. I think you just um, like for me. I've always whether that was playing for Durham um, or or for England. I played a couple of tests there, and, and I think you just you turn up and you feel welcome. You feel as though it's a great place to, to come and play. Um, you you've got great facilities there, um, and I think you just turn up with it. You know, you almost kind of got a, a smile on your face. Uh, loads of tr tradition, obviously, some amazing players that have gone on there. But of course, remember, I, I was I was just starting my national career out, and I was playing against Australia. If you're never going to be you know, kind of egged on by that, then, you know, you, you, there's something not quite right. So, uh, that, I mean, that, that week was, was a fantastic week for me. Yeah, I mean, I mean, their their top order was I felt as though it was mitch, mis, mismatched a little bit because it, you know we had Watson going up to, up towards the top, and I mean, obviously Catch has been a fine player. He's played a, you know a hell of a lot, and he's been a great player over the years. But so he was kind of like their rock, really. Um, but you go from from other Ashes, and you, you the, the side looked very different. Um, but yeah, I mean that that you know that that um, uh, that day too it was was amazing, really. I mean. As I said before, you know that I really felt as though I was just, I was just starting to make, uh, put my foot, you know, in the team and kind of cement it. Um, that morning, uh, bearing in mind we had Flint off, Anderson, Broad, and myself, I thought, oh well, I, I'll, I'll, I'll not do anything for the first hour. You know, the lads, it'll, it'll be a little bit, uh, a little bit moist, and we'll be able to, you know, hopefully knock a few over, and then I'll come up and maybe clean up the tail. Uh, that was my mentality at the time. And Andrew Strauss said, right, we're going to open with Graham. He called, you know, he called me in, um, or Bunny. He just said, look, you know, we, we, we think that you, you'll be great against uh, Watson and hopefully you can get us a couple of wickets early. <laughs> and it couldn't have worked out any better, really. Oh, that could be our first ball, and it is. What a good start for England. Wonderful. We, um, uh, obviously, my wicket-to-wicket, -wicket, um, or, or line ball, or whatever you want to call it, is just nip one back to Watson, thudding at the pad, um, barely appealed, really, so he walked off. And then my... Uh, good good friends who I played with at Durham, uh, Michael Ossie came out and to be honest, the, probably the best player um, that I've played against. Um, his ability to get on the front foot and, and, and drive through the covers and then obviously if he pitched slightly short, he was a fantastic player off the short ball. Um, and I, I like to think that I've pitched it just outside off and it's just nipped a little bit, <laughs> nipped back a little bit, but people say, you know, there's, there's two types of leaves and 
uh, that wasn't a particularly great one from, from his point of view. Oh, it's out! That is out! What did I say? His footwork has been shocking this series as Hussey, and that's two in two. The crowd are going unbelievable. Everybody's jumping up and down. Yeah, honestly, ner- nerves because I, as once again, I was cementing place on the side. I, I, I didn't, I didn't really feel nervous. I mean, obviously, you're not going to feel nervous after getting two and two. Uh, I just remember the crowd. Uh, it was everyone was behind it. Uh, I think loads of people were actually outside, hadn't actually gone up the ground yet by the time the game had started. Because the amount of people that come up to me and say, you know, uh, I actually missed missed the two first two balls. I was still waiting to get in because obviously in Ashes series you've got loads of people outside. Um, and um, I, I, I'd been working on an in swinger for for quite a while, and I was thinking, should I bolt that ball? And actually, I thought Michael Cork came out, and I thought I'm going to bowl him a bouncer. Uh, just going to try and set the tone a little bit, yeah, and ball the bouncer. Uh, didn't quite get it short enough. It was just hit him, hit him on the splice of the bat, uh, about chest, about chest height. Well, well, that's the thing. Everyone, everyone kept saying, you know, he, you know, he's the one. He, he, he's the the guy in their side that we need to kind of go towards and and, and try and try and uh, obviously get out. Um, just put a like a marker down, really, and say, right, we're gonna we're gonna take you on. Um, but it's Ricky Ponton, you know, and, I, and I'm, as I said, I'm just starting off. So for me, that was that was a massive wicket. I think I bowled a few balls at him, and then eventually I, I thought I'm gonna bounce him as well. Uh, relatively short boundary to one side. Um, but I think I, I didn't think about it too much. I just kind of ran in. I thought oh, I'm going to back myself and and ball a bouncer. And luckily enough, he was just get uh, luckily to get a faint, a real faint edge through to Matt Pryor, who caught it above his head. Um, massive celebrations. Um, and it, it was, I remember Jimmy at the time. He said, "You've just bounced out, Ricky Ponton, probably the best player, the short baller, um, certainly that I've, I've ever played against. Um, fantastic player." But yeah, I was I, I was on I was on cloud nine. I was loving life. Oh. That's out. That is out from a pitched up ball. That's the way to ball on here. I uh, got catch out second innings. Uh, fantastic player for Australia, as I said. Um, I just, look, I just wanted to find, I, I just wanted to find some rhythm, get into the team, and and just do everything that I possibly can. I um, ran in hard. I was lucky that I'd, I'd obviously had a, a decent um, few games before then um, for Durham and, and for England playing against the West Indies and. I was just, I just felt, I just felt happy, comfortable, and actually, as I said before, I've played quite a lot of cricket at um, at Edgebaston against Warwickshire, and actually, lucky enough for me, I'd, I'd actually done pretty well there over the years. So, had some great memories, and I, um, I just kind of ran in and, and and just tried my best. <laughs>